All right, guys, Coach Mons here from R77 Under 14s. Um, game week 15, a disappointing day. Uh, we played Globe Rangers, we lost 9 4. Um, and yeah, it was a pretty gutting day all around. Um, didn't get off to the best start. Um, I wasn't at training yesterday, but I heard we'd be out. We'd be missing a few of our big boys today. So there was no Adam, no Sami, um, no Hamza Aziz. And then we had a no show where Jeffrey didn't turn up. So it was, it was a weird display. It was. It was kind of like the team had his heart and soul ripped out of it. There were four massive players, four of possibly the best players in the league. Um, and I think it kind of showed today there was there was not much there. They were quite toothless. Um, and I think, I can't blame the boys. I think they tried the hardest, but Globe were ready to go um, for the game. They were doing it far behind us. So it was a really important game for them. And it's kind of disappointing because we've talked up Globe and Wolfram Star so much the past few weeks. Um, and then when it came round, we were so heavily hit um, in terms of availability. So I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what we can do from now. Um, I guess the main the main aim would be just to keep focusing on the next game week. Um, we want to bounce back next week with a big big result again, um, and hopefully the big boys are available. Um, but I do expect more from the players um, when they're asked to do a job and the big boys aren't around. So it's a collective collective effort. The blame lies with everyone: players, managers. Um, coaches could all do a bit better um, and yeah might, maybe just complacency got the better of us in the end um, we need to reflect on this see as a lesson um, it is a setback but hopefully we can, we can become a stronger team and a stronger unit after it so yeah well done well to Glob um, they came right at us they they played to their strengths um, they made it a physical game they hit us route one which we struggled against they knew that and they capitalised so well done to Glob um, and yeah we go again next week. Coach Pelle here for under 12s. Result today 7 1 loss against Aim to Gain. Um, extremely disappointing day at the office today. Um, it's a bit of a freak score now with us only scoring one goal. I mean, we created numerous amount of chances. We could have played till tomorrow and we'd have still only scored one goal, which was quite it's quite sanding. But is is a case of even if we did take those chances, the performance wise was not up to standard. It was extremely, extremely disappointing from, from the boys and from what we expect from them. Um it's a case of we've been constantly working on four V twos, using a wide man, switching the plays, these base stuff we've been working on in training all the time. You know, keeping it simple, one two touch, letting the ball do the work. And over the past, even last week, it just seems to be going out the window. I mean, we seem to be having nine individuals who want to do their own thing, who just want to try to get their own goals. And it's just, it's just very disappointing to see with, with what we've been teaching them not being implemented. It's, just, it's, quite, it's quite frustrating, really. Um, I mean, there's aim to game who are a good team. They come with two, two less players at one point and one less player. And... Instead of going to use the width where the space is, we're trying to go through the middle where they have quite a few numbers there already. And it's just it just doesn't make sense. And it's just everything was rushed, everything was forced, and it was just extremely disappointing today. And I just but last last week I might put that down to a blip, but this week is quite concerning. Especially when we're coming up a team that's close closer to our level, let's say. We're we're not performing as well as we could do. You know, we can't just go go on a Sunday and just blow over teams. You know, sometimes when the going gets tough, you got, you know, you got you got to pull through, pull your socks up, and start working hard. You know, to try different things, instead of you know, you know, getting upset or getting worried. You know, you got to keep going, and it was just it was just not good today on so many different levels. In the case of the football, the performance, the fact that we gave even giving up after that three or four one was extremely disappointing to see. And just these boys better be stepping up in training because from what we from what we've seen on this week is it's not good enough. But well, I'll go on to next week. Thank you. Hi guys, Coach Saf here with the under 10s on behalf of Coach Ethan. Unfortunately, he's a bit busy. Um, but yeah, on to that game. Um, under 10s, 5-2 um, against Millfield as well. Um, I watched all the game. It was a pretty pretty good game honestly um straight off the back um the boys under 10s straight in with a good early three goals 
um, with Zidane scoring two, um, and Hisham with the third. Um, I think the under tens we can say is welcome back. Um, a massive, massive performance today from Zidane. Um, and I'm sure you've probably heard of Zidane and everyone's thing. It's the new, it's the new big thing at R77. But genuinely, there was, I watched it, I got to watch him first time today. I, I wasn't here last week, so the first game I watched him today and genuinely see a massive, massive player in him. Um, we got a new goalkeeper in for the under 10s as well, and he's pretty good. Now we call him, we've called, end up calling him the cat at the end of it. Um, but yeah, I think Coach Ethan's got a massive, has got pretty near enough a complete squad there now. Um, and I'm, I'm from at the end of the game, from seeing what his um, reaction was, he was pretty happy. Um, boys played really good football, and there were certain aspects of the game where I think they need to be, uh, they need to just touch up on. But all in all, I think we've got a winning squad here again. Yep. Yeah. On to next week. Take care. Um, hi guys, Coach Staff here with Under Nines. Um, coming to you with an unfortunate 2 0 loss against Millfield. Um, in terms of performance, I think a couple of the boys put in a good, good performance and put out their heart onto that pitch today. Um, coming from a loss, or coming from a win last week against Pro Star, which was a big win for them, um, and having to lose this game, unfortunately, is, I'll be honest with you, has put a massive dampener on. A lot of the boys. Um, but I think from my, my team talk at the end of the game, I mentioned to them that guys have put a massive, massive effort on the pitch today. Um, I think they need to just go out there again next week um, and just give it all, they all again and I'm sure they'll get a win out of it. Um, but in terms of like performance, I think there's a lot to work on. Um, and I've, I've, myself and Coach Osvaldo and Coach Lee have understood what needs to be done. Um, and we found out our key points and where we need to work on, and I think we're going to work on them. Um, we're having to just jump from one spot to another um, in terms of what we're teaching them, um, because we've seen quite a few mistakes. But I think we're going to battle one issue, complete it, master it, and then move on to the next. Because I said, don't think the boys are uh, picking up a lot of exactly, well, exactly a lot of what we want them to do. But yeah. On to next week, um, hopefully we get a win. Hi guys, Coach Aswat here, the under 8s. Um, played Pro Star today, uh, score was 7 all. Percy with a hat-trick, uh, Yahya with 2 and Mo Murad with 2. Uh, that's Mo Murad, 8 goals in 3 games now. Looking like a lethal goal scorer, same with Percy. Uh, it's not an easy feat coming into an older age group and scoring a hat trick playing the way they did. And uh, today was a was a debut for two of the two of the under sevens that I've been looking at over the past few weeks. I've been wanting to bring them up, and uh, I thought, you know what, it's finally time. So we gave uh, Suleiman a chance, and we gave Mohammed Sarfraz a chance. And honestly, I thought both of them were excellent today. I think Mo Sarfraz he, he, he still needs a bit more confidence in beating one v one. I've seen him do it before, I think, but I'll just put it down to, it. you know, nerves. I think a few more weeks with me it will be up to scratch. I thought Suleiman was excellent that first half. Um, with him, he's got he's got power, aggression. He knows he, he understands the game to some extent. And uh, I think at one point we had uh, three of the under sevens on in attacking roles. And uh, honestly, I wanted to. I did. I came into the game not wanting to win the game. It was just. I wanted to see their performance. Uh, I wanted to challenge them a bit, see how they react. And honestly, I thought all three of them coped very well. I bought them on at 3-1. Uh, yes, I think we conceded two goals with the three under sevens on the pitch, but they reacted very well. They kept going, they kept plugging away until half time, And then we changed it. And yeah, I thought they didn't look out of place at all, which is a good sign going forward. Obviously, I want to bring up more of the under sevens. And I think it's time to push players like Zayn, Yahya, you know, Abdurrahman up to the nines permanently now because they need they need a bit more of a challenge now, and that way I can bring up some more of the under sevens, which is a good sign. Um, but 
in terms of stand up performance today, I thought Zayn, excellent. Yahya, excellent as well. Percy, brilliant. Mo Murad, at times, excellent. But he's 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 up there, and I was very impressed with uh, Zachariah today. I thought he was he was excellent. He came on, he was driving past players. I think end product with passing wasn't there, but what from what I saw today, he's going to be a top top player in the next few weeks for us. Um, yeah, I think overall everyone played really well. It was a good game. Uh, Pro star, a bit of a anti footballing team, which is which is sad to see because they have good individual players, but when they're taught to just pump it long. They're not getting the best out of their players, I feel. Um, but yeah, on to next week. Thank you very much. Hi there guys, here with Coach Moore at the end of game week 14. Um, we played St. Thomas earlier today. Um, we've been waiting for this game um, to hand out a few debuts to some players that have um, yet to play. Um, we pushed up Mo Saf, Percy and Sully into the under eights. We made the well Mo Saf and uh, Sully made the debuts for them. Um, Percy obviously has played before. Um, so we were able to give debuts to Issa Mundia and Adam Javid for the under sevens. Um, we started off um, in the same shape, didn't really change much. Um, started with Issa Khan at the back, um, who was brilliant all, all game. Um, even managed to get two goals as well from the back, which is very, very good for him and his confidence. Um, Starting with Omar on the right, um, with Yusuf Ibrahim on the left, and Abdulaziz up top. Um, I think we went in at half time winning 4 1. Um, very, very comfortable, played some very good, very good football. Um, I thought just releasing the ball took a bit too long. Um, lifting the head up to see players in better positions again took a bit too long. Um, so I had a word with him at half time, and I thought that improved a lot. Um, Issa Mundia stood out. Um, he came on in the second half, managed to score two goals within a few minutes. Um, very, very good on the ball, comfortable pass of the ball. Um, got a very good eye for pass. Um, so I'm looking forward to working with him for, uh, for the rest of the season. Um, Adam done well as well. Um, I gave him two stints, played him in the first half, took him back off and played him in the second. And again, I was impressed with him as well. Um, just with experience and, and time on the pitch, um, they'll, they'll get better. Um, Yusuf um, Konkara was very, very good. Again, I told him and Issa that um, I wasn't looking for goals from them today. I was, I wanted them to just dictate, uh, dictate the game. Um, and I thought they both done that. I think they're both natural captains. Um, so obviously without having Mo Saf there, um, as well as Sully and Percy, um, those boys stood up. Um, and really, well and truly, we didn't really miss any of those uh, three superstars. So it was very, very good. Um, Omar got his hat-trick. Um, Natural goal scorer, some of his movement was uh, very, very good on the ball, off the ball. Um, obviously, his finishing is very, very good. He was unlucky to miss a penalty. Obviously, he scored one very, very well, um, very, very well taken. We gave him a third one, um, but unfortunately, missed. Uh, but then he still managed to uh, get his hat trick, which was very, very good of him. Um, Dennis got two, very, very good. Um, played him up top. Um, told him to basically do what his brother does, and he managed to do that. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to working with the rest of the boys. Um, we're looking to hand out some more debuts hopefully soon. Um, but I don't want the parents to get very, very excited. And because, you know, it was St. Thomas, uh, we are going to have tougher games coming up. But it is a learning curve. Um, so just trust us um, with what we're doing. Um, and the boys will get there eventually. I mean, we're seeing it with those three who have moved up to under rates. There's a couple more, which I know Coach Asper is speaking to me about. Um, so their chance will come as well. Uh, but I'm looking down now. I'm looking at Tech Dots, seeing who else I can bring up. Because... Um, it's obviously working, but for all, all in all, very very good performance. Every single player on that pitch was brilliant. Um, of course, uh, shout out to Omar, uh, Yusuf Ibrahim who played at the back. He was very very comfortable at the back. Um, obviously Issa Khan. Um, every single player really. I don't think there was one player today who, who I looked at and thought, oh maybe you could have given me a bit more. Um, especially the debutants and them very very well. So very very good weekend. Um, I know I've said that a lot, um, but yeah, let's move on to next week. Alright guys, here we go. Try and do a summary for today's fixtures. Um start off with the well we were quite unfortunate today. The league decided to give us a clash of fixtures all across the park. So we had an early game of 
12 p.m. today, which is even early, midday, um, the end of nine. So we'll start off with them. I watched the game. I thought they were pretty good, to be honest. Um, missing some firepower. Shy started the game. I think he played all, every the whole game. Um, he's moved up permanently to the under nines. Obviously, he's an under eight. But I don't think he did too bad. I think overall, all the boys need to learn a lot about positional football. But I don't think they were bad. They lost the game, but I don't think they were that bad. Um, moving on to the under tens. So the under tens. Yeah, sorry, the under-7s, under-10s, under-12s and under-14s all kicked off at 1 o'clock. So, as I was already at Newbury Park, I decided to keep stay the whole day there. Um, I didn't watch the under-10s game, I watched the under-7s game. But from what I hear from the under-10s game, is that they were very, very good. Zidane is phenomenal, scored four goals. Um, looks a complete player. So, it won't be long. The way we're going the last few weeks, we've definitely... Focusing a hell of a lot on, on, on progression, so um, it won't be long before he, he touches the under-12s. Um, turns on the under-7s, the under-7s did really well, they won 12-1. Um, Coach Mo and myself and Coach Aswa together, we decided to move up players. So, Mo Safraz, Sully and Percy all went to play for the under-8s, which left us capable of bringing some players through so we gave debuts to Isa Mundia who did phenomenal a very very good player I believe he's year one as well so he's younger his, his eye for a pass his eye for goal um, and when his confidence starts going up he's gonna be a very good player um, so well done to him Adam came and made his debut I thought he done well as well uh, nervy at the start when he came on but as the game went on did really really well. Isa Isa Khan did really well at the back, and then so did Yusuf Ibrahim when he went to play there. Um, Abdaziz of the lineup in the first half, and then Omar did really well as well. He got a hat trick, playing out on the right wing. So I think that's one of those games where you could actually get him a bit more involved, and he got his hat trick. So you now overall, I thought the sevens were very very good considering that. When you look at the team, there was all, 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 all youngsters, all fringe players, and they went in and they, and, and they did a job. So well done to them. Um, under eight, seven, seven, <laughs> ironic. Um, but I watched the first half of that game and I thought the under eights were brilliant, um, especially the under sevens that came into the team. You know what you're going to get with Yahya. Zayn was quality at the back. Abdul Rahman obviously does his job. Um, but I thought Suli. Yeah, for Sully Percy and Mo Safras were doing a really, really good job. Um, they played against a team that wanted to go long. Nothing wrong with it. There's nothing in the rule books that says that you can't go, you can't go long. Um, and we're always going to struggle to cope with that. But you know, you can go down the eights. They will concede goals. Five aside football, I keep saying it. They will concede goals, but they'll score goals, and they've got the ability to do that. And, and bringing those sevens up, the football that they played, um, we didn't lose. We, it was, it was a good result and it was a good performance. So we were the better team. So well done to the eights. And now moving on to the two freakish results. All right, so I'll start with the 12s. They lost 7-1. I'm not too sure what happened there. I'm not spoken to anyone. So I'm kind of looking forward to listening to what Coach Pele has to say. Um, so I get, I'm get i going to leave the summary to him. And then the 14s. Um, I don't think we've conceded 9 goals all season. And today we conceded 9 goals. I know we're playing Globe. And our squad was thin. And when I mean thin, I mean thin. You know, we had big players missing. But that's a spanking. We got we got we got an absolute tonguing. Um Coach Moses has, has kind of put his hands up and said oh, there wasn't much I could do. They have the personnel. These things happen. It's a bad result. But that's all it is, it's a bad result. Um does that mean our title chances are a bit hanging by a thread? Possibly. Are we bothered? Not really. Um, we've been pushing for the title. We've not been shy about it saying that. But it's not the be all and all. Silverware is not the be all and all. The fact of the matter is we want to finish the season 
and we want to be confident and enough to say that you know what we were actually the best team in the league fully strength squad the players that we have the ability the training that we give we know we're the best team in that league um and one one very it's, it was very uncharacteristic of us to 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 lose a game like that we've seen the results all season so normally we are we, we're on the giving end of um of those results today we, we're on the receiving end and you sometimes you just got to accept that this is football this is these are young people playing and the results ain't always going to be what we expect so i'm not too disheartened honestly i'm not too disheartened about that result it, it obviously hurts we don't want to we don't want to take away the fact that we still lost the game and we lost by a heavy heavy margin both 12s and 14s but at the end of the day we can't knock what the boys have done all season these things happen lessons to be learned we're going to lose games you can't go out week in week out battering everyone it's about how you pick yourselves up and we'll see let's see what happens we'll see what happens there's still a long way to go to the end of the league so let's actually see what happens um well done to globe you know it's not easy coming to beat us but today we made it easy for you and, yeah, and you took advantage so well done to them um uh, I'm not gonna damp. I'm not gonna let those two results dampen the day. Okay, the weather's good. Finally, um, it's football. You get mixed results, and we're not we're not an exception uh, to the rule. So, like I said, we're gonna lose games, but in terms of progression, in terms of what we're trying to do as a club, it's another successful week, and we carry on. So, Tony Creek, peace.